Hey friends, hey fam, what's poppin'? I hope you guys are doing so super well today, as well as you can be, of course, during these very trying times. Staying hydrated, living your best life, and checking in with your friends, your family, your heart, and your mind above all things. My name is Janae, and I typically post home decor and lifestyle videos right here on the tube. And today, we doing none of that. We doing none of that. Because I am doing what I have been commanded and demanded to do in the comments by a few people, and that is share where I buy a lot of my clothing. But we are solely focusing on spring and summer dresses mostly. I think there are maybe one or two items that are not dresses. So we're just gonna dive in, and this is going to include a variety of price points. So definitely stick around, and if you like what what happens in this video today um go ahead and like and subscribe i literally never say it and i'm trying to start saying it last thing i will say disclaimer anything you see in this video today that you absolutely love that is awesome but there is never the pressure to shop 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 all the time this is more so just inspiration of where you guys can go when you are trying to add to your wardrobe and you know your coin better than anyone else so i'm definitely not saying how to spend your money just know that you don't need any any of the things in this video to add to the joy in your life your happiness Alright, starting off, we've got this super cute baby doll dress from Madewell, one of my favorite places to find size inclusive dresses. And this gingham print is just super adorable and I love the puffy sleeves. It makes me feel very darling and just how flowy this dress is. You can actually breathe in it and move around. Hey, hit it. Um, and I also really enjoy tucking fabric if there is a waistband because I am only 5'3 and on the shorter side, but this is longer. So if you have long legs, get it girl, you have options. And then I paired it with these chunky block heels from Seychelles. I will link all of this down below, very comfortable. And yeah, we're feeling good. It's not doing the most for my backside, but you know what, who cares? Next, we have this super darling cinched and slip dress from Abercrombie. Yes, you heard that right. Abercrombie has been making a comeback and I love to shop here because they are much more size inclusive these days. And I love that this dress is stretchy in the back so my tiggle biddies have room to breathe and it has a little tightening string in the middle. And then I really like pairing it with a little cardigan. You know, she date night ready. She's really date night ready. Look at this little basket purse. Um, I will be linking everything, so don't worry. And then also I paired it with some really cute accessories. Actually, that's what I wear with everything. And then this cardigan is actually an Abercrombie find as well. And then I also like to rock them with some block heels. These are my favorite little summer heels from And Other Stories. You can size it all your angles. No waste of potential. Cause baby you special. No way first, you the one to walk. This shop is one that I hate to love because she is overpriced and will rob your bank account, but it is worthy taking a look because they participate in slow fashion and they have size inclusive pieces that are just super darling. I wanted to show you how stretchy this skirt is. I have room to breathe. She's getting appetizers, main course, and dessert tonight and i love the details on this sweater the embroidery is just so beautiful and the sweater is really soft and then i love pairing it with these little blue block heels that are also really comfortable keep it short keep it square and you're going to be comfy and then i paired it with a cute little green pocketbook who says pocketbook my grandma says pocketbook <laughs> If you ride or die for comfort and convenience, then this borderline moo moo dress is definitely for you. Is it the most flattering? Mm, debatable, but am I comfortable? Yes, it's super flowy. The embroidery is very darling and the square neckline is just 
super cute, I think, because you can see a little collarbone. You know there's something underneath there. Um, and then I paired it with this little brown boho bag and these Doc Martin platform sandals that are the most lightweight Doc Martens I have ever owned. Um, I've only owned two pairs of Docs. But anyway, these are really comfortable and great for a full day of walking. Oh, and the dress has pockets. Come on now, this is what we deserve. She's giving you fun and flirty. She's giving vaccinated and ready to be out on the streets again. I absolutely love this dress. It's super flowy, doesn't hug my waist at all, but has a very nice neckline. Oh, and she bent it over to show that my tall besties, this might not be the best fit because your cheeks will be out, but if you don't mind, peep it. I paired this with a vintage coach bag that my grandma gave me when I was in fourth grade and these pink block heels from Camper that are really great for a full day of walking. And yeah, this cardigan also from Abercrombie. We love to see it. Next, we really got some bougie bouge, but please refrain from dragging. I'm really trying to move towards slower fashion, and thankfully there are more brands that have pieces that go with my body type and that are in the plus range. And this dress is from Reformation. I hate to say it because their prices are disturbing, but I was feeling mad cute in this, and I hope to keep this dress through the times. It's super flowy and has a really flirty neckline I mean who gonna take me out on a date no and then I paired it with that green purse again in those same yellow heels even though I am slowly trying to move away from fast fashion, fast fashion is what got me through many a day. And yeah, we are all at different financial points in our lives at different times. With that being said, this is a dress that I have loved for a few years now from H&M. And every summer before this, I found really great pieces at H&M and they've continued to increase their sizing, which has been awesome to see. And this one is a nice maxi dress that is just have, having me feeling myself. I'm wearing the wrong bra with it, but forgive me y'all. I paired it with my brown leather bag and then these extremely comfortable block heels. Very affordable and seriously beyond walkable this two-piece set is one that has been giving me life this season and thanks for all the love for y'all who follow me on Instagram whenever I wear this piece you guys are so sweet but anyway it is just super comfortable because it's flowy Sorry that I've said comfortable literally 30 times, but I feel like that is priority when it comes to feeling cute and feeling good. And I love that this has a stretchy waistband and it has these nice ruffle sleeves. We're just feeling good. It does give a little side boob because you know, we got a lot going on up there, but I just wear a nude colored bra to help balance it out. And I don't think it's that big of a deal. Moving on to another more affordable find and more gingham. This one is from H&M and the sleeves, we got more puffy sleeves, more stretchy sleeves and square neckline. However, you do get what you pay for and the quality is not the best. Um, and then it is also very long. So as you will see, I tuck the fat, I'm forever tucking fabric um, under my bra. And this one, I kind of did that. It looks ridiculous but it works and you see I'm moving, I'm grooving and it's not falling down. Typically, if something doesn't fit perfectly, there is no reason to ever hold on to it, always return it. But at the time when I got this, it was really great for photo shoots and I still use it for photo shoots and I think it was like $14. So I have held on to it for now.
moving on to a better fitting gingham dress and it's more of a navy color i promise this is the last gingham moment but you know summer feels this one is more of a maxi dress i need some help figuring out the back i don't know what i'm doing there but anyway i think it would be great for just park days brunch days errands literally anything and then i am pairing it with that boho bag and i'm not sure what shoes i'm wearing but i think oh some slip sandals yay and then we're doing another tuck moment and this i just do if i want a completely different look with the same dress and so making it more of a midi moment instead of a maxi how about date let me know if you have tiny ninnies can you do the tuck trick it's not going under my bra it's actually just going underneath the fabric I love the feel just like this I love you right just like Donna Next we've got another save up really think about it keep it in your cart for a few months item and that is from Reformation my second dress from them that was also a splurge but i am obsessed with this dress it just complements my nims really nicely i love the little tie straps rarely do people make dresses like this for bigger girls and again we've got room to breathe all of these dresses have room for opportunity you can really throw it back so we love that let me know what you guys think about this periwinkle color with this dress i really can't tell if it matches but i like the combination for some reason and then i paired it with the little basket bag and these yellow block heels from and other stories and i think this is the last outfit you guys thank you so so much for watching this video if you made it this far it really means the world and if you enjoyed it or found it helpful definitely let me know like subscribe it helps your girl out so much and you already know who you are you know what you is you the best you the baddest and i love you so so much and i will see you in the next video bye